Good afternoon. Let's get to work on using fractions to divide a group of objects. Today we're going to answer the questions, how is a fraction like a division problem and how can I find a fractional part of a group of things? Well, let's take a look at a group of objects. There are 16 M&Ms and let's say four kids are splitting them. How would we decide how many each kid would get? Well, that's not too hard. We have 16 M&Ms, four people. We want to divide them into equal shares. And you've known for a long time that when we divide things into equal shares, we use division. So the simple thing to do is say, okay, 16 M&Ms. We want to divide it evenly among four people. And if you know your times tables, you know that four times four is 16. So 16 divided by four is four. Each kid gets four. Why is that? Well, we could look at it a different way and say that each kid got one-fourth of the M&Ms. If you take a look at the 16, we divided it into four equal shares of four each. So each kid got one-fourth. What does that mean? Well, we had, each kid gets one part that he or she gets out of the four available. How's that like division? Well, I could ask the same question this way. What's one-fourth of 16? Now when I represent that numerically, it's going to look a little wacky. And there's a long involved explanation for that you probably don't want to deal with. But I'm going to start it like this. Look, here's my one-fourth. And I'm actually going to multiply that. One-fourth of 16 is what that actually says. Now I told you before, I'm going to tell you again. When I have a whole number, if I place it over one, I don't change its value. It'll make life a little bit easier. So here's our one-fourth. I'm going to multiply that times 16 over 1. And when we multiply fractions, we just come straight across. So 1 times 16 is 16. And 1 times 4 is 4. So this is 16 fourths, which is actually kind of a division problem. This says to take 16 and divide it by 4. And 16 divided by 4 is, of course, fourth. Is 1 fourth of 16 4? Well, sure, here it is right here. I took 16 and divided it into 4 equal pieces, and you found that I got 4 in each one. 1 fourth of 16 is 4. What if only two kids were splitting the bag? How would that change what each kid gets? Well, I'm still dealing with 16 M&Ms, but this time I don't need to split it among four people. I need to split it between two. So, that would be halves, right? Yeah. So, how's that going to change what each kid gets? Well, let's take our 16. Oops, and divide it by 2. And you know we'll get 8. Interesting, that's twice as many as I would have gotten were I splitting it with 4 people. So, if 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here's my half. Right there, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So everyone gets 8. If I were doing that as a fraction, what would it look like? It would look like this. 1 half times 16. We'll put it over 1 just to make it all nice and even. 1 times 16 is 16. 1 times 2 is 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Okay, there it is numerically. Here it is physically. One half of 16 is 8. Can three kids split 12 M&Ms evenly? That's hard to tell. How could I know that? Well, think back to factors. Let's wonder what the factors of 12 are, because that will answer my question. I know I can split 12 among one kid. He can eat all 12. Or I can split it among 12 kids and give everybody one. Since 12 is even, I know I can split it among two people, and that 2 times 6 is 12. What about 3? Is 3 times something 12? Sure is, 4. And I know that 5 doesn't go into 12 evenly because it ends in 2, and I'm back at 6. So yes, I can split 12 M&Ms evenly among three kids. How much will each kid get? Well, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So I could do it as a fraction, say what's one-third of 12? Well, one-third 
of 12. 12 times 1 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So there we go. Each kid gets 4. What about three kids splitting 16 M&Ms? Can we do that evenly? Let's take a look, think about factors. All right, always, always 1 and 16, because even prime numbers have 1 in themselves as factors. 16 is even, so 2 will go into it 8 times. Well, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 7 divided by 3 doesn't come out evenly, so I can't divide it by 3. Can I divide it by 4? You bet. It's 4 times itself. 4 times 4 is 16. So here's my list of factors for 16. 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Three kids can't split it evenly. There'll be one left over when we're done. So let's take a look at a problem. And this is very typical of one you would find on a quiz. Kaylin has 24 colored pencils. One third of them need to be sharpened. How many need sharpening? Now, could I sit here and draw 24 colored pencils and then divide them into three even groups? Sure, I could do that. And then it would take all day. So I don't need to do that. That would take forever. Let's just go ahead and take one third and find out what one third of 24 is. 24 times 1 is 24. 3 times 1 is 3. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24, so I know that's right. She needs to sharpen 8 pencils. She better get on that. So today we answered the questions, how is a fraction like a division problem? Well, the denominator of a fraction shows me how many pieces I want to make of something. And since I'm breaking things into pieces, I'm dividing. How can I find a fractional part of a group of things? Well, I take the size of my group and figure out how many pieces I want to divide it into. Again, that's the denominator of my fraction. And then I just divide. Easy peasy. Have an awesome afternoon.